All right. I see somebody. I can start talking. Hey, it's Reza. Uh, day two. Look at the amazing Halloween Advent calendar that uh, Therese at Butometry has set up for us. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this uh, this is going to be channel Reza Blade. I'm your friendly neighborhood Reza, of course. I teach nail stamping with tips, tricks, and tutorials. Plus, I share nail art inspiration and new plate and new product reviews. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like this video and please comment. It helps me out so much. And let me know if you like the box so far. It is so amazing. Right now, today, we're unboxing the 20-item box. That's the one I have. If you have the 13-item box, your days are going to be just a little different. Uh, but a lot of it's going to be the same. Uh, the, the actual retail value of this guy is 220 dollars about so i think it's a great deal uh, we're in for a treat plus we have a few more boxes so you can still order it uh, until it sells out so grab it quick let's get this party started uh, and definitely wait in the till the end because there will be a giveaway and more about that during the video but this video um, will be a giveaway video once it's up on youtube because i'll have a secret question within the video that you answer in the comments but don't worry, don't forget, that's that's when it gets over to YouTube. Today uh, is not the giveaway yet. So I'm going to open the box now. This is exciting. And I'm gonna show you everything at first because the packaging this year is just a total step up. It is insane. Oh, how sweet. It comes with a little card like this. Oh my goodness, this is so sweet. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we've got all the days that are wrapped in such cool paper. I, lo I always love the way Therese wraps these. These are so much fun. Um, let me find day one, shall I? I guess you're going to get a... I'm wearing my uh, compression gloves. Sorry, I'm having arthritis today. All right, come on. Where is one? There are so many. So exciting. This is this is better than Christmas to me. Halloween is my Christmas. So when I get lots of presents to open, it's the best. Okay, we have day two, which we are gonna open today because um, FedEx was a little late on my ah ha ha day one. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna put all this aside because otherwise I wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to uh talk about it all right let's go first we're going to open item number one i really i really love these wrappings i try to save them if i can to use them again so we can see this is going to be a plate Oh my goodness, we have zombies in the house. Look at that. One, one thing I love about Butometry's plates is, uh, especially if you're a pro uh, or if you just have really long nails, so many people don't make plates that you can get these long images on and Butometry does. And it's, I, I think it's a huge plus. I recommend their plates so much. So, Here's some fun thing. Here's a fun thing. I'm going to give away this plate. It's going to be on YouTube, so you have to be a subscriber. And when you watch this on YouTube, comment below. I'll give you the secret entry question closer to the end of the video. But this is going to be given away because I have... Da, 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 I have one, and I've used it, and I'm going to show you everything I've done with it. I am going to go ahead and do like a quick sample for you, but still show you all the things that I have done with this plate so far. So the lighting isn't awesome right now. So this is, can I, this is, if you can see it, it's actually, it's actually really cool. Uh, it's three different heart sizes. And I, I was inspired by the Grinch because his heart grew three sizes, but it looks like you can't even see. That's frustrating. Anyway, and then I have a severed finger. I added a little bit of blood there for the effect. 
And then we have some zombie faces. Oh, look how creepy and scary they are. Oh, this is great. You could do a whole manicure of different zombie faces. It would be the best. And it's easy. I've used this plate to layer, and normally I don't really like layering because I have a tremor and it gets just weird. But this, these plates are plates I can layer. Here's another look. Um, I have the zombie cat and dog. Poor babies. Uh, if you like Pet Cemetery, you can do that kind of a, that kind of a themed mani, you know. And then this one, the brains stamp, one of my favorite. I did some selective coloring in, and then I mattified it. I did a, it's not called a rotational uh, ombre. Anyway, the round ombre. <laughs> the word is escaping me. But I did so that it's brighter in here and then darker on the outside. And then I, I did the zombie images as shadows. Here is from the Brain Manny. And I did color in those, that gray matter, so to speak. And then here's a foggy kind of scary living dead uh, manicure that I did with the plate. So that one's pretty scary too. So yes, this plate is the bomb. And I'm gonna real quick use it for you so you can see that it stamps great. Where's my paper towel? Here's my paper towel. This is so exciting. I need to remember to uh, decide what the secret question is for the giveaway you know, in the next five minutes. All right, I'm gonna use my Hit the Bottle, it's best stamping polish in the world. And, uh-oh, oh, well, here we go. Sorry, I've been having trouble with my hands today. I was afraid I couldn't make it. And let's use this stamper. It's a nice big one. So I can show you how awesome these, uh, what's the word? Having difficulty getting this off of my stamper. This is the, hey, Lexa, how you doing? Thanks for coming on. I get, I'm having trouble. Technical difficulties. It might be actually damage to the stamper. Well, we, we live with the consequences of what we've done. I don't know what I did, but I'm sure I did it. All right. Just use one of these little square ones. Lexa, I just showed off the zombie nail art that I did. Um, this video is going to be on uh, YouTube if you missed any of it. And I hope we get more people soon. This is the first day, and the first day is uh, traditionally pretty pretty low on turnout because it gets kind of more exciting as the month goes on. I love those fingers. Those are so great. Anyway, so the zombie plate is awesome and I like the buildable aspects of it. And I'm just gonna do another real quick image. Get out my acetone. Always clean in between steps. All right. Oh, awesome, thanks, Lexa. Yes, go to YouTube because this is a giveaway plate. I'm giving away one of these zombies, zombie plates courtesy of Butometry. Oh, I'm going to do the brains image. Brains. You've got red on you. You get extra points if you get that reference. And if you know what the Cornetto trilogy is. <laughs> All right, here we go. I love, I love, I love the way these stamp. This is great. Okay, so I think we can kind of move right along. Thinking of a question. Okay, here's my question for the giveaway. Remember, don't comment here on Facebook for the giveaway. Go over on YouTube to comment. Um, so I want to know, of all the Halloween costumes you've ever worn, what is your favorite? That's probably an easy one, I hope. Um, and if you, you don't or aren't allowed to wear costumes, what is the favorite costume that you would come up with? Because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to leave anybody out accidentally. I have another thing to open because today is the 15th. So I get to open this. And I actually don't know anything about it. So I'm super excited. Remember, I'm trying to conserve these, these bags because they're great for trick-or-treaters. 
can give away a bunch of like what homemade caramel popcorn. I don't know. It's probably loud though. Sorry about that. Hey Lex, did you hear me? Okay. I am using a different microwave. Microwave. I'm using a different microphone. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've told you guys I get words weird and mixed up all the time. Oh my goodness. There could not be a more perfect polish on this planet. Um, <laughs> I can't. I can't even. Oh my God. Well, this is from Femme Fatale. And uh, Fatal, yes, this polish has killed me dead. This is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at all of that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks, Lexa. Yeah, Lexa gets me. All right. Um, I am going to paint. I have a swatch because I – isn't it gorgeous, Cassie? It is just – I'm – I feel like this is so dumb and corny, but I'm moved to tears because this reminds me, I don't remember the new, the new telescope, but it reminds me of some of the images that that new telescope has seen. I, they're just in such beautiful detail and they make you cry because the cosmic beauty is so unspeakable. There aren't, they don't make words for things this pretty. It reminds me of that. So I'm going to try this out. Anything with these with this much kind of sparkle and glitter is going to need multiple coats. I usually plan on two, and then if things need more, I usually go to the foam sponge method. But this one I think is going to be just fine. Here's one coat. I just, I, <laughs> this is so gorgeous. I'm going to cap the edge here. I might end up using the sponge method in a second. I should have left something to, for me to do with the butometry tree place. It is, it is amazing seeing space. Thanks, Cassie. It just, it just makes my heart sing really to, to see, uh, and I just hit the microwave microphone. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, anyway, look at me crying about stars. They did. They knocked it into the park with this one. This one is just the prettiest thing in the world. Normally, I'd let this dry a little more, but I think you all know that I get very impatient during lives because I am I, I'm very conscious of the seconds just ticking away. Oh, my God. You could so do a Galaxy Manny with this. I mean, I think it is, it is like handmade for Galaxy Mannies. I can't even believe this. <laughs> Femme Fatale man does not mess around. They came to play. They came to play. Okay, one more try. And then I'm going to give it all the old top coat, which should finish out this astounding look. I'm being very careful with my brush because when you're painting over wet polish, sometimes you'll pick up polish and take it with you. So what I'm using is tiny, tiny little strokes so that I'm not disturbing the polish that's in situ, but I mean, in place, sorry. All right. And, and, and away we go. Come on. You're going to want this box. <laughs> you are going to want this box. Look at that. I cannot. Oh my goodness. So while I, I let this, I'm going to let this, uh, I'm going to let this breathe for a moment. Um, and I'm going to show you what I'm working on right now. I'm doing a tutorial, Manny, about simple fall and Halloween looks that you can do if you don't like to reverse stamp and you want something to just impress people like crazy. So, uh, this is the full Manny I'm doing and there will be, um, it's a monochrome, monotone look. Uh, so there will be dark, dark leaves on there. And uh, you'll see that within the next day or two. And then, of course, we're coming back tomorrow. I'm going to try a top coat now. I just want to see the way it shines up. I'm going to use my special top coat for special occasions. This is Swift Quick Dry by Nevermind. 
Jen is my friend and one of my favorite polish makers in the world. She blows me away with her talent. All right. This is so good. And then when I top coat something that's really definitely wet, I usually wipe off my brush before I put it back in there because who hasn't had top coat ruined by a little extra color? that got left on the brush. You guys, oh my gosh, I can't, I just can't. So we've done these two. I um, guess I'm gonna say ta-ta for now. Let's meet on Facebook Live, same bat time, same bat channel tomorrow for our next Advent goodies. And hey, in an hour over on YouTube, I'll be doing a live unboxing of a humongous box, my friend, uh, Carrie sent me of goodies. So um, she wants me to either use them, review them, or give them away. And I can hardly wait. So um, I guess I'll say, again, ta-ta for now. And uh, in the meantime, eat, drink, and be scary. Bye-bye.